And what? Oh, how many people can hear Not me? Not a big deal, just say it. A lot? A lot of people? So don't say eating dirty box. <laughs> I just shoot a commercial. Our trailer's over there, Biz has a fluffer. Look at, like, this is just, you don't, this is like riding a bike right here. You do not forget how to do this. I mean, like, can you imagine how Biz tapes his stick? Like, Biz, honestly, let's, let's, let's have, let's do my imitation of Biz taping his stick. Hey, I should be on the fucking power play more. It's like, I don't even play that much. Oh, anyone anyone need any water? He's like, oh, shit. Oh. And then everyone's like, Biz, what are you doing? He's like, I don't plan on touching the puck because you guys fuck me on ice time. Like, Let me get your Gatorade. <laughs> and that stays there because he doesn't need a stick. I said, what do you think? It's starting, we're, we're picked up at 7 a.m. So you think we'll be home by 3 p.m.? People started laughing. I, I'm like, are you laughing because we're gonna be home earlier than that or later? And, I mean, we haven't filmed one thing and it's noon. We've been on one take for an hour and 45 minutes. Watch this. I'm watching a couple of visits and he goes and then he's like, I didn't like that tape. Like, I thought it was the director saying, do it again, do it again. It's fucking Biz being like, I don't think that was good enough. Like, what are you doing, Biz? How does he know if it's good enough, by the way? He has no clue. Fuck, this camera hit my foot, I was on the track. Did you guys get that? Yeah. Did you guys get that? Biz is the one that's making other takes. I mean, you lose. I can't even believe this. This three times in a row where the director's like, good. But it's like, no, actually, didn't like that one. Are you. I you call that. That was. <laughs> you called that. Brian's distracting me, dude. This is like. This is what it's like to work with this guy. Like. I feel like I felt when Jackman ripped my head off my body and beat the fuck out of me when I'm watching Biz do this commercial. Hey, was that a bit better pace though? Uh huh? Is that a better pace? Yeah, that was a much better pace. Thank you. He just said, Director, is that a better pace? And no joke, the director went like this. Like he's making up terms. <laughs> what are you saying over there? Nothing. How are you doing out here? I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I, I, I usually keep her pretty positive on set. Because I've done one of these, I did a film project before. Sometimes it takes forever. You got to get your perfect shot. Especially when you're, you're trying to sell something. Like the wonderful Pink Whitney flavored vodka. What, uh, what take are we on? This sh specific shot, we've, we've done quite a bit. I'd say 30 or 40. But that's why we make the big bucks. Yeah, we'll wait till they come out with the, the, the blue bissonette. Never gonna happen. Yeah. What the fuck, what was my line? Yeah, fuck. It's my drink. No, it's my drink. My drink. <laughs> it's my drink, you peasant. <laughs> you pigeon. Peasant? It's my drink. It's a pink Whitney, you peasant. Oh, see, I'm very mean to him usually. Yeah, but that's the that's the humor of the the. the part. Be a little nicer. Too mean? My voice cracked. I think I gotta retake that. Ugh. Eating eating dirty box. <laughs> and what? Oh, how many people can hear? Not me? a big deal. Just say it. What? 
a lot of people. So don't say eating dirty box. <laughs> big win, big fucking win, boys. Great job out there. You. Hey, that's my drink, Wit. Actually, it's my drink, a pink Whitney, you pigeon. Yeah, we'll wait till they come out with the blue bisonette. Never gonna happen. How are we doing? We're doing great. We just wrapped up commercial one. We still have two more to go. I think it might have went a little longer than scheduled, but uh, we nailed it. I think Witt Wit came in, did a great job. He had to wait a, around longer than I did, so I felt bad for him, but uh, he's in good spirits and, and ready for commercial too. It seemed like you were uh, helping him out a bit on what to do. Well, no, because we, really like we really didn't have a script in place, and I, I don't know if the, the director was familiar with the way we talk, so I just gave a few, uh, you know, a few, what would you say? Wit would say nothing. What? I guess I gave a few maybe uh, recommendations. Heard you were helping him like frame up the shots, making sure everybody was all good. Well, no, like, sometimes like certain things were in certain areas the first time, and there's a lot of things to worry about. Why? Yeah, it's he fun. shouldn't be wearing. No, I haven't said other people. Other people came in as like business telling them what to do with cameras and shit. No, I didn't make a say any of this. I wasn't even out I, I, I didn't say a word about that. Anyway. Never hurts to chime in once in a while, you know? So there's a kid here. Tristan? Yeah. Junior hockey player from around here. Maybe going to the USHL or the North American yes. League this year. Good young player. They brought him in, they told me we brought him in in case you can't hit the targets on the net. No offense, Tristan, but I played in the NHL. Like, that was a real slap in the face to me <laughs> from the woman who invited Tristan in. Now, in the end, Maybe I miss all the targets and he comes in and cleans it up and I sound like a fool, but I took a little offense to when he came in to do my job on the ice. It would be like if Tiger Woods was filming a golf commercial and they brought in a college golfer and were like, in case you can't hit the shot, Tiger. I think I can hit the target, but we'll see. Either way, Tristan's our man. Commercial number two? Co commercial number two, this is a skills competition, so there's no hiding for Ryan, no uh, excuses about his weak ass ankles and chirps. Oh, easy game. Alexei Kovalev used to be able to go top shelf with one, one hand on a stick because he had Popeye wrists. I'm going to try it right now. I'm going to try to see if I hit the glass. Not bad. Close. That's from, that's from tugging off every night, that wrist strength. Hey, Logan, the camera guy, could probably put it over the glass for how much he's tugging himself off. <laughs> want to see, want to see Biz's uh, career highlight film in one shift? Good shift, boys. Made 725 for two years doing that. <laughs> This is how I was paid in the NHL. I don't know if you'll snap it Right through his stick. It was passed too hard. It's Chris Conley. The National Hockey League, if you hit guys. This is, this, what's the guy 10 feet away from you who passes like that? <laughs> we didn't have that. Ed, Ed, Ed Jovanovski used to pass. Just film Biz doing a whirl, like I'm going to send him in on a breakaway and just watch him collect this back. Wait, I'm going on the tape. That's how you get a guy going. I used to be a defender. Look, I'll look away, look away. In my sleep, I did that with my eyes closed too. Skills challenge is who can keep it, who can get it inside that red dot. I think that's like a little curling. This is a curling, uh, yeah. curling rink when right, it's I'm not up. a hockey rink. 
And this is like when you need a change, but you don't want to take the icing to keep your guys on the ice. So you need to have enough weight to just put it in their end, get the change, secure the bag. Boys are staying on the ice. They're tired. Now all of a sudden, Tave and Taves and Kane are coming out, the and they're they going to be buzzing like a swarm of bees. Dash one back of your neck. You think I can get it in the open door? Grinelli's over here talking shit like, "Yo, he's first try on everything." Grinelli? Yeah. Grinelli barely played varsity in high school. I saw Grinelli at the pool uh, this trip with a shirt off. I would one hand that guy in the corners like it was my job. Legit, I, I, I might I even just need. I, I, <laughs> he does have the little quick feet. Look at him. Look at these calves. Oh, <laughs> oh there it is. Skills competition in Edmonton, I think it was 93, maybe 94. I think right now I'm probably. Do we have a gun? I put probably like 86, maybe. How was Jersey? I was off. Very rough, and by the time I hit the gym, Christmas. We were doing some premeditated chirps there. A little hard because we're more off the cuff guys. Um, but um, you know, hopefully the fans will be entertained by, by Whitney ripping into my accuracy shooting and uh, just us carving each other in general. Now nothing really changes from the podcast. Except you can't chirp my horn on, on, the, on a national televised commercial <laughs> and my, uh, my kill count. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, what a day. Oh, you got that right. Wet, I gotta say, uh, pretty impressed by that accuracy shooting earlier. Thanks, bud. Reminded me of my rookie year, first NHL goal in New York City, bar down. How are ya? I, I should tell you too. Your your shot on harder shot. That was a rocket. I know you could shoot it that hard. To the good old days. I better get some real fucking drinks and weed in me soon because I'm losing my mind right now. Oh man, if they make me do one more take, I'm gonna fucking murder someone. <laughs> After which, I can like see it there. I've never seen a little juice. Where's... I've never seen that from you there. Where would you have seen that from me? Exactly. Makes no sense. One for one. You gotta get them in the next Biz Does DC series. Couldn't afford them. Yeah, Biz knows that. You like it too, huh? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun when you get to like write your own stuff though, because then you get to kind of like do it the way you want. Yeah, exactly. It. He's already in the locker room. I'm yeah. coming in. I'm like, well, it's waiting. Oh, what a game, buddy! Great win. Yeah, and then I'm all fired up. Like I already have my drink. He's right? about to drink. And I'm like, dude, what a game! And then you're like, you go, you go hey, to take a sip. No, oh, but it's the Pink Whitney. But I made you one, and I reach back, and I'll go, I'll have it like this, and I'll reach with this one and just go, right. boom. That's and awesome, exactly. And he, and he throws his glove, sits down. What a win for the boys. Goes to grab it. Go, Whoa, it's Pink Whitney. It's not the Pink Bissonette. Don't even say that, right? Just and say it's the Pink put, Whitney. Uh, and then oh, my drink. Come put, on, and then pass the buckle. And I'm like, yeah, buddy, don't worry, I got you one. Thanks, man. Please. Cool. Okay. Cup of that. Cheers. And then you're going to go, that's the most ice time you've seen all season. Mm -hmm. But does it matter about no, the drink? No, that, that, that's the most ice you saw all game. Uh, you've seen, that's one, the most ice you saw tonight. You want to see it? Yeah. 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 I like it. I think it's. I think that's pretty funny. Whoa! 
what a game. Oh, I forgot to get ice. This is fucked. Job security. <laughs> you can't, you can't look at the, ever look at the camera. Don't ever look at the camera. <laughs> How about that team win, eh, Whip Dog? Oh, boys, we're buzzing out oh, there, Biz. Yeah. Nice. Hey, it's my drink. Pink Whitney. Man, you gotta pass the puck a little bit. I made you one, buddy. Thanks, pal. Hey, cheers. Most ice time you got all night. Oh, get a wrap of the yeah. shirt. Look at the shirt. What a shirt. Look at the shirt. Show go. the camera. R.A. stunt double today. <laughs> he didn't end up getting any scenes, but uh, nonetheless, thanks for coming. Still got, you still got a paycheck. Uh, dude, you were, you were a natural. No, Biz is a sick actor. I'm terrible. No, you're at the end, Dude, at the end, I literally couldn't even like fake a smile at this point. So, you're, you're, he's like a professional actor. You fuck know, off. Well, you know what you're doing. Yeah, no, it's, you know, you put yourself out there, but we're gonna have to do the, another Biz Does BC. Maybe we'll do Ontario. I'll, I'll do a guest appearance. That's, that's all it, I wanted. That's and it. Hey, that's a successful day for me. And of course, uh, Mr. Pink Whitney himself. Hopefully, we end up selling a million fucking cases. We better. We deserve it after putting in that shift. What were we here? 14 hours? 17, I think. There you go. Love you guys. That's a wrap. And uh, now we got to go record a podcast. Doesn't stop for the chickens, boys.